Hey, good morning, guys. Saturday morning. I think it's around September the 20th or 21st. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the forecasters were right, and it's raining. So that sucks. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try not to let that stop me. I'm going to uh, probably pull the TR6 out with its newly installed hardtop in the, uh, out in the rain. And uh, I think we'll do some more sanding. We'll probably uh, probably grab that hood over there and we'll finish uh, sanding that out and get that ready for another coat of uh, primer. Again, I'm not happy with the way that uh, is sanding out. So <clears throat> much like I did with the trunk lid yesterday, I'm probably going to finish that back out to 180. And then we're going to give that another spray with uh, urethane primer. So that's the plan. It's a bummer. I was looking for some good weather. I am obviously running out of time, but uh, we'll try to do what we can do in the rain. All right, guys, we'll give you an update later on. I think what I'm going to do first today is actually fix this little uh, little cutout. I think that was from the, like that from the factory. I know this panel wasn't replaced, so there's always been this little uh, little offset in this rear panel. So I'm going to uh, throw a little bo uh, little bondo in here and shape that out. So. We're going to grind that back down to, uh, to bare metal. I want to make sure I get a good uh, adhesion there in the corner. So um, I think that's the first thing we'll do today is we'll, uh, we'll fix that little uh, area up and get it uh, out of the way. Okay, I got two coats of uh, filler on here so far. I need to build it up a little further. But it's going the right direction. Um, I probably should have repaired that by welding in some metal there. That would have been the, uh, the best thing to do, but uh, I've left it too late. So um, the filler is going to have to do not going to be perfect, but it'll be better than it was. Anyway, of course the compressor comes on as usual. Um, I'm going to start working on re-sanding down this hood, and we're going to make a few little uh, repairs along the way. So, just want to give you a before shot, and we'll give you the after shot later. All right, guys, we got the hood uh, sanded back down now. Just a word to the wise for any of the uh, beginner amateur body shop guys like me. Um, if you have a problem with your primer, if you suspect that it's not spraying out properly, stop. And secondly, if you think you have an issue with your primer, but you continue, like I did, and you think that you can sand it out, and you guide coat it, stop. Don't do it. Anyway, uh, so I've sanded this back to, to 80 grit to remove all of the uh, guide coat because the Geico gets stuck in all the little dimples that are left uh, if you've got like a sort of a grainy spray or granular spray coming out of your gun. So I, uh, I tried to sand it out and uh, it was not going to work. Uh, even at 180 grit, it was tough to get the uh, to get down to get the guide coat out. So uh, I've gone down to 80 grit. Now the guide coat's done. I'm going to re-guide coat it lightly and then I'm going to go over with 180. And then we're going to respray it. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll do a better spray job with the uh, primer this time. So, anyway, just my experience that I share with you. Talk to you later. Okay, so we've just uh, lightly guide coated it again. We're going to sand now with 180, and then we'll be ready to uh, put another coat of or a couple coats of urethane primer on top. So, that's it for now. We'll come back when it's all sanded out and nice and clean, and ready to go to the next step. Okay, guys. Still raining. Just coming up on uh, 12:30, so um, the hood's back down to 180 grit. Uh, I put a little bit of uh, etch primer on some of the uh, bare metal spots that I sanded through. Not too many of them, just uh, up around the hinges and uh, some of the lines here on the hood. So anyway, um, happy with that. Hopefully, the next spray out of primer will go better than the. Uh, than the last, so make sure it does. That's it for now. Um, we'll come back out after some lunch and we'll continue probably on the body and we'll probably try to sand down this uh, front of this uh, bulkhead. All right, talk to you later, guys. Hey guys, just a quick update. It's uh, coming up to 4.30 in the afternoon and uh, that's looking better. I'm gonna have to wait to do the finish sanding on it. I need to probably sand a little bit off of it, but uh, since the hinges are not on yet, um, it's going to be difficult to see where the actual final hood fitment's going to be. But I think that's going to be sort of the gap line on the front of the hood and the gap running along the back looks pretty good all the way across. So 
it's going to be close anyway. So I think I might have to take a little bit off, but it looks a lot better than it did. So I'm happy with that. Anyway, um, hood's ready to go. Trunk's ready to go inside and out. Got to, still got to sand the inside of the hood, um, but it's looking okay. So kind of a crappy, drizzly, misty, cold, getting your bones kind of day. So what are you gonna do? Anyway, um, I'm thinking now, and I told you my uh, plan of action was fluid. Um, it'd be nice to get the uh, hood, the trunk, and the doors into paint and then get them out of the garage and get them inside the house, store them in there until I need them, just to get them out of the way. And I'm sort of tired of taking them on and off the car and putting them over against the wall and then dragging them back out again. So I may decide to um, go ahead and get those painted, probably do the transmission tunnel get that out of the way. I'm trying to do things that I know uh, don't need any f more fitting or fiddling with so uh, the fenders I need to do a little bit of work on but uh, I'm thinking I might want to get these uh, the hood in the uh, trunk lid at least and the doors into paint like I said and get them out of the way. Anyway we'll see what happens. That's what happens when you uh, you buy the paint and the clear and you got it sort of sitting up on top there and you, you look at it and you think now, how hard can it be to get this stuff into paint? Anyway, we'll see. Talk to you in a bit. Kind of weird clouds blowing across. And dark over there. Well, it's the first time I've seen the sun all day today. Finally stopped raining. Although I think that's going to be probably short-lived. Anyway, back at it. Hey guys, just had a quick question before I go and upload this, and it's regarding uh, the painting of these uh, panels, uh, which I'm going to be getting to hopefully very shortly. So this question is for uh, the Garage Gang members who are painters, um, and I'm not going to name you all because I'm sure I'll miss uh, somebody and I don't want to upset anyone. So anyway, you guys know who you are, and uh, the question is this. Um, I'm going to be painting these panels flat, so basically using these uh, X frames here as opposed to uh, hanging them from the ceiling, which I've done in the past. I don't have very much success doing that, um, so I'd prefer to pa paint them flat if possible. So I guess the question is this. I'm going to be, if I'm painting them flat, I'm going to be spraying the bottom of these panels first. So the question is, um, if I'm spraying the bottom, I've got to mask the top of this panel to prevent any overspray getting on it from me spraying the bottom. Um, the question is really on the edges. Do I tape the edges as well? For example, here, I'm assuming that if I'm spraying the bottom, I would want to tape off this edge and tape off the uh, top of the panel so as not to get any overspray. Um, and the, I guess the, the big question is, when I get to doing the clear, I don't want to have a huge buildup of clear on the edge. So I think the what I want to do is tape this off for spraying the bottom. When I flip it over and I get to painting the top, I'm going to obviously unmask the top, unmask the edge, and mask just the bottom of the, the panel when I'm spraying the top, leaving the edge exposed, and then spraying my, uh, my color in clear on the top side. So that's what I want to do. I just want to make sure that's the right direction. I'm th I've got it thought out properly. So if uh, one of the painters in the garage gang could just confirm that, that's a good course of action that would be appreciated. All right, guys, we'll upload this and we will get out here probably tomorrow. I'm going to go and watch the hockey game tonight. Preseason hockey game, Toronto and Buffalo. Go Leafs, go. Talk to you later, guys. Uh, what the heck, the night's still young. It's only 7 o'clock, so... Um, we're going to work on these doors. So I've got this one uh, guide coated. I'm going to sand this out. This one's been done already, but uh, I've got to go back and do some repairs here, if you recall. I need a little bit of body work around these. Um, these are uh, holes for the um, pegs for the tonneau cover um, and for the windows. So uh, I've got to do a little bit of body work around there. It's a little bit sunken in, so we'll need a little bit of a skim coat of uh, some uh, putty on there. 
So we'll do that. And we've got the game on out in the garage, so uh, that'll keep me company for a bit anyway. Talk hey, to I'm pretty lot. happy with the way that door blocked out. No, uh, no issues. These uh, little thing here look pretty good on this door, so I think we can. That's at 180 now, so got a decision to make on this one, and whether I want to go, to, you know, straight to um, 400 or 600 grit, or uh, whether I want to put another quick corner prime on it before I do that. So anyway, I'm going to leave it uh, where it's at for now, and we'll go back and take a look at the other door and fix up those little uh, spots around those uh, those pins. All right, guys. Hey, guys. Just coming up on quarter after 10, still out in the garage. Got a uh, quick coat of uh, glazing putty on this uh, door, and uh, we're just about to give it a quick sand down. We're going to sand that down, and we're going to call it a night. Um, definitely clearer out. It's got quite the, uh, quite the nice moon tonight, uh, if you can see that or not. Anyway, I'm going to have to dry the car off. And she's definitely chilly out. Uh, it is now 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Feels a little colder than that, actually. Maybe because it's damp. Uh, this is saying uh, 16 degrees Celsius. So, yeah, about uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Anyway, we'll uh, finish sanding that off. Maybe I'll take a quick video before I shut her down for the night. And... Uh, We'll talk to you then. Okay, guys, we're sanded down now. That looks much better. So we're going to call it a night. And uh, we'll get out here tomorrow. Hopefully we have a nice day tomorrow. Maybe we can uh, spray some more primer and move on a little bit. Anyway, one more thing down. See you tomorrow.